Hello everyone, my name is Aman Kumar Soni and I am a final year student of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow and I am here to give a seminar presentation on my topic Air Quality Index and the various air quality monitoring projects that are there in India as started by our government. What have I included in this presentation? First, we will understand what do we mean by AQI, then what are the various indices that are present in the past, what do we mean by NAQI and how it is calculated, uh, understanding the AQI chart and the various air quality monitoring stations that are there in India. And then I am going to give you details of the two major air quality monitoring projects that are started by our government. First one is the SAFA program and the next one will be the YU program. So let's proceed. Air quality index. Uh, what do we mean by air quality index? It is defined as the index to measure the air quality with the help of certain numbers then we have uh, various color codes and the various health description for understanding by a general public so that they can understand the severity of the air pollution or the air pollution in their cities and the various negative health effects so what are the various indices that are present in the literature first one is the GI index it is one of the earliest air pollution indices that are present in the literature proposed in 1966. It includes the uh, uh, calculation of indices with the help of two major air pollutants that is the sulfur dioxide and coefficient of phase. Then we have the MURC index proposed in 1968. This study was done for the city of Detroit and it was based on only one air pollutant variable that one was the coefficient of phase. Then we have the fence dog air quality index which was proposed in 1969. This study was done for 29 US cities and was done using three major air pollutants that are the carbon monoxide, total suspended particles and sulfur dioxide. Then we have the Ontario air pollution index proposed in 1970. This one was done for Canada and it is it was based on two major air pollutants that are the coefficient of phase and sulfur dioxide. Then we have OREQI uh, proposed in 1971 study was done for the Tennessee USA and then includes uh, five major air pollutants and so on. We have the Greater Vancouver Air Quality Index uh, which includes uh, six major air pollutants, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, ozone, suspended particle, haze and PM10 particles. And now we have most of the countries have their own AQI indices. Uh, we have one for the Australia, one for the mainland China, Hong Kong, we have one for Japan and we have for Canada, Australia and you can include India uh, in this list as well. So what is NEQI? NEQI stands for the National Air Quality Index which was launched by our Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climatic Change. It was one of the major initiatives started by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on the Swachh Bharat mission of 2014 and given this NEQI and proposed in NEQI on 17th October. Uh, our uh, environment minister at that time, Sri Prakash Javed Kassar, has given a slogan of one number, one color and one description so that the air quality may be easily understandable by our general public and the various health impacts on them. Uh, the proposed NEQI consists of eight air pollutants, that is PM2.5 and PM10. These two are the major air pollutants. We have sulfur dioxide, we have nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, uh, ozone, ammonia, lead from various combustion of fossil fuels to uh, various automobile emission and all, etc. The proposed NEQI was developed by the CPCB in consultation with IIT Kanpur and it is now monitored, the CPCB is now monitored the NAQI. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, the, one of the first report, official reports published by the NAQI includes the data of the 4th January as you can see uh, here uh, of 2016. It includes the data of around 24 cities uh, whose population exceeded 1 million at that time. So as you can see with the severity of the air pollutants at that time. Uh, most of the indices values are greater than 400. So we can see the severity of the air pollution uh, for Agra, Delhi, Faridabad. It also includes uh, Lucknow city as well. 
uh, whose industrial value is greater than 300 plus that is a major concern for our india okay so there was a need to propose the air quality uh, indices and various uh, measures to mitigate these uh, air pollutants so i am going to show you the working of the uh, how aqi is calculated in these two next slides that is this one and this one okay uh, first of all how aqi is calculated we require concentration of the various air pollutants of uh, uh, 24 hour average or maximum of 8 hour average for these two and 24 hour average for the rest the concentration is in microgram per meter cube except for the carbon monoxide whose concentration will be given in milligram per meter cube from these concentrations sub indices of these uh, particulate pollutants are calculated and for the working of this calculator we require at least 3 data of out of the 8 data and one must be uh, uh, data of either pm10 or the pm2.5 and one data must be either of the remaining 6 okay so how the air quality index is calculated you may note down the concentration of the pm10 particles that is 121 that i am going to use this uh, sub in, uh, concentration to calculate the sub index from 121 to 114 and how from 114 we get the aqi as 114 okay in the next slide so let's proceed this is the formula that is used for the calculation of the air quality index okay uh, where B stands for the breakpoint concentration uh, level. Uh, it means that the uh, concentration above which will be detectable and will be within uh, the proposed uh, air quality index range. Okay. And CP is the current air quality uh, pollutant concentration that I am going to use uh, for PM10 will be 121 as I have told you in the previous slide and BHL is the high level uh, breakpoint concentration, BLO is the low level breakpoint concentration, IHL are the sub indexes values and sub indexes lower value of the breakpoint concentration. For a concentration of 121 for PM10 particle uh, lies between 250 and 100. So the BHL value will be 250, BLO value will be 100. Corresponding to this BHL value, we have the IH, IHL value of 200 and ILO value of 100. If, this, if we will use these values and put them in this equation and putting the CP as 121, we will get 114 value. Okay. And then the maximum operator is used uh, of the proposed. Similarly, we will calculate the uh, sub indices for PM2 and then for sulfur dioxide if there is a concentration similarly for NOx and so on then the maximum operator is used and then the maximum uh, the values of these sub indices will give the AQI of this of that particular station and the color corresponding to it uh, here is the description given below if you want to read you can read it so let's move on the AQI chart. AQI chart uh, comprises of the six major categories that our air quality is divided in. Uh, first one, we have the uh, first one we have the various level of concerns. As you can see, the air quality levels that are if it is good or it is moderate or it is unhealthy or it is very unhealthy or rather it is hazardous. Uh, for the various uh, color coding, we have good for in the range of these is the sub index values or the AQI calculated value if the AQI calculated lies between 0 to 50 it will be good and the proposed AQI that we calculated in the previous slide 114 will lie between 101 to 150 that is the or it is sensitive for uh, our sensitive people okay and has various health effects on the general public as well. Uh, if you want to read it, you can read it in this slide. Uh, and so, let's move on. There are two types of air quality monitoring stations uh, in India. First one is the web-based monitoring station. Here we will use various uh, weather forecasting system or the stations uh, that calculate the 
uh, air quality on the real time that is the data of the 24 hours um, concentration all the time are present over there we have various automatic air quality monitoring stations of around 117 air quality monitoring stations are there in india which calculates the aqi based on the weightage to area or the time of concentration of that air pollutant in that respective area and then we have the manual monitoring station where we use various aqi calculators where we manually fed the data to get the aqi values uh, we have more we have around 573 location in india uh, that are under the national air monitoring program set up by the government and but these manual monitoring station they are not very reliable okay uh, these measure the data uh, once or twice a week and out of the total eight air pollutants these only measures at most of three air pollutants so these data is not very reliable but we have this in india so uh, aqi monitoring started with around 24 cities in 2016 but uh, at present uh, we have around 100 uh, 312 continuously air quality monitoring station all over india in around 115 cities covering over 28 states and union territories which are web based actually web based okay so uh, now i'm going to start with the various air quality monitoring projects started by our government first one is the suffer program so it starts for the system of air quality and weather forecasting and research it is one of the national initiatives taken by our uh, ministry of earth and sciences it is used to measure the air quality of the various uh, metropolitan cities uh, by measuring the overall pollution level and they are location specific uh, and give the quality of air of that city as you may note Uh, it is indigenously developed by uh, our iitm pune that is the indian institute of tropical metallurgy and it is operationalized by I, indian metallurgical department it is accredited as the air quality forecasting system and it is indigenously developed by india in india okay what is the ultimate objective of this project uh, it is to increase the general awareness among the people as well as uh, give out the various appropriate mitigation measures and uh, so that actions can be taken and all and what was the need for this suffer program uh, as you may know that the com- because of the commonwealth games in 2010 there was a severe air pollution at that time uh, so there was a need to uh, evaluate our air quality standards so uh, we so uh, the suffer program was started in delhi in 2010 and it further evolved uh, and now it is in four cities it is in pune it was established in pune in 2013 in mumbai it was in 2015 and in ahmedabad it is in 2017 what it is what it does it it forecasts the air quality uh, as well as the weather forecast uh, and issues various health advisories uh, as well suffer program is one of the integral part of the india's first air quality early warning systems and it is operational operational in delhi okay and what are the various parameters that is measured by this suffer unit uh, it can measure the temperature as well as the run off humidity it can measure the wind speed its direction uh, various uv and solar radiation it also measure the various air pollutants uh, such as pm 10 2.5 ozone monoxide uh, nox we have sulfur dioxide uh, mercury benzene toluene xylene etc okay uh, this is uh, how the data is displayed all over uh, the uh, in delhi we have one billboard electronic billboard in chandni chowk in delhi we have various air quality monitoring stations we have 11 in delhi 11 in pune we have 10 in mumbai and this is the inside of the iitm pune okay as if you want to say it now we proceed on to our next pro- uh, air quality monitoring project that is the wind augmentation purifying unit in short stands for wyu it is a type of air purifier uh, as i have included a pic uh, this one is a single unit of wyu uh, it was developed by the csir neeri Uh, and it is being funded by the department of science and technology 
Okay, how this device works? This device works on two principles. First of all, the wind generation for dilution of the air pollutant. Uh, what it does, it sucks the polluted air in, and and then it purifies the air and then uh, redistributes the air in the uh, atmosphere only. And it uses various uh, techniques such as activated carbon for removal of particulate matter. We have UV lamps for removal of poisonous gases such as volatile organic carbons and for carbon monoxide. We have filter fans for sucking in these particulate matters from the, from, uh, the atmosphere. And uh, it is very, what do we say, it is very uh, low maintenance cost and it has, uh, it can it works on very small amount of electricity and can uh, purify air of, or, uh, of an area of about 500 meters square and can run for about 10 hours. It has very low maintenance cost as well. Uh, as well as I, uh, there is uh, one project called the Air Care as started by the Haryana government in Gurgaon where they will be installing 65 of these YU devices at the various instances a various traffic intersection in the Gurgaon uh, to purify the air also, if you want to know. And this one is from the Mubaraka Chowk Teli. Uh, okay. So, next. That's all for the presentation that I have included. And thank you for listening to me. Okay, thanks.